Hello guys, welcome back onto the channel. So, July 23rd is the date we're gonna be able to see what Microsoft has in store from its first party developers, and these are the five things I wanna see announced in the event. It's undeniable that GT Sport came out of nowhere and sort of shook things up by providing a much better online experience than what we were used to. It's far from perfect and it's been known for a lot of its problems, especially the ones related to penalties, but when you compare to the chaos that Forza Motorsport 7 usually is, the difference is night and day, and it's no wonder why a lot of people who used to play Forza Motorsport almost exclusively have left the game for Gran Turismo Sport. I love GT Sport but Forza Motorsport still remains as my favorite racing game franchise and I want to see something about the new game during the event. Backwards compatibility is something I very much enjoy about Xbox as it's given me the opportunity to play games that would otherwise be lost during the transition to a new generation and I'm very happy that Xbox Series X will carry on with this philosophy. And as you know, Microsoft paused the program in order to focus on making sure that what they have made available so far would work on Series X without a hitch, and I want to see the program get resumed. And it would be awesome if they announced a couple more stuff to celebrate its return. What if, what if we got Forza Motorsport 1 through 4 and Project Gotham Racing 1 through 4 available for purchase and fully compatible with both Xbox One and Series X? That alone would make me very happy, happy enough to forgive a potential absence of a new Forza game during the event. Microsoft has expressed time and time again its desire to solidify its approach to gaming on whatever device you want to play their games on. It's something that Phil Spencer doubled down again this week in an interview. So what if backwards compatibility comes to PC? That's not something necessarily new, it's been corroborated uh, before. But what if it comes to PC? They don't need to do anything particular with it, and let's be honest here, it's unrealistic to expect anything in the way of customizable options on what's essentially older games running on emulation software. But if Microsoft truly is committed to their vision of games everywhere and anywhere, and I believe they are, I feel this is the natural next step. Now for this one I don't have a lot to say <laughs> other than admitting this probably falls under the wishful thinking category, but I think we can all agree that it would make every fan of the dormant franchise go crazy. And that would be a real win for Microsoft, which isn't something bad uh, to have at this point. Now it's clear that Microsoft doesn't want to repeat the same mistakes they made this current generation, and it's understandable. And it's even more clear that both companies are playing chicken when it comes to announcing the pricing of their consoles. We're now past the point where we'd normally be aware of how much each console would cost and I honestly don't think either company is gonna be able to hold out for much longer. Microsoft is showing a little bit more confidence with all the subtle statements they have made about the pricing so far, while Sony is being a bit more cautious even going as far as to let everyone know they should not expect a cheap machine. This could very well be a tactic to deceive to maybe force Microsoft to be the first one to take a step forward and announce their pricing. Regardless of what kind of game each company is actually playing, I would like to know how much it will cost so I know whether I should start auctioning off my kidney to buy one, cause regardless of how much it will end up costing in the US, it won't be cheap here in Brazil. But anyways, these are my 5 things I would love to see during the event, what would you like to see Microsoft announce? Let me know in the comments down below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.